Join me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today, we find ourselves in Pondicherry. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. people welcome to Pondicherry uh, this is Bussy Busy Busy Street um, I am today is the last night for now in Pondicherry um, I think I haven't quite booked where I'm going to next but that will come that will come I'm sure I'll do that in the morning anyway last last day last night so, and I, I felt like I couldn't leave without trying a French pastry. I did try and have one uh, earlier today, but they were sold out. So I'm going to go try and find a bakery that has pan and chocolat. Pan and chocolat. I can never, I never know how to say it. It's French. It's like a rolled pastry with chocolate in it. Sounds good to me. Rush hour again. I think those little local buses, you know, those little mini. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Pondicherry being a. Uh, having a history of being a French colony, uh, there's a lot of uh, French food, bakery, for example, probably croissants somewhere. And Anna Chocolate. <laughs> Anna Chocolate. No, that's that's Italian. That's an Italian accent. My apologies. So yeah, I decided you know can't leave here without having one of those French pastries. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I think. I'm pretty sure I saw. I know there's a bakery right next to my place, but it's just a bakery. Where? Yeah. I'm gonna see if they got them in here. Let's see. Hello. Do you have a wow. uh, pan chocolate? Pa pan chocolate? Uh, just these ones, yeah. You don't have like pastries. There's no pastry. Uh, okay. No, that's okay. Maybe I'll come back there. Next door, coffee. Then. Hmm. Next door, coffee. Coffee? You have coffee here? No, next door, same shop. Uh, only. Oh, same shop. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I'll have a look. Okay. Sindri. Not sure about that music. Either. Uh, so this is like. I guess what you were saying was this is the cafe. Sorry. I have a look. They have music here as well. No, oh, no. No, they don't. Don't have it there either. And music. Music. I forgot about music. But yeah, it would. Mess up uh, my, the copyright on my video, unfortunately. I really had been worrying about music for quite a while, but now I have to again, I guess. There is that place there. Uh, see, this got pastry, this, this massive. Um, I kind of need a coffee as well. Need. Need is a strong word to tell you, but it may well be true. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to turn it back around on me. Have a look around on here. Mm. Again, they don't have pan and chocolate. 
Oh, they almost do. Well, they call it that's what there is. Wow. Maybe I'll get one of those. I mean, almost. Almost one. Try to show you again. See, as you can see. Wow, red croissant. Never heard of a red croissant. Custard. Is that spelled custard? I don't know. Maybe that's just my pre pubescent mind. Check out all these cakes as well. Guys. So good. Nutty bubble. Eggless milky cocoa chip. Red velvet. 500. So that's like five pounds. It looks like they've got like paneer. Oh wow, some like sponge cakes over here. Black currant cake, honey cake. Wow, look at the color of it. Pistachio nut cake. Oh man. Uh, well, I came for the pan of chocolate. It doesn't look exactly how my brain knows them, but maybe that's okay. Maybe it's the Indian version. Okay, we'll go with that. Go with that. The head flat white. Okay. Hello. You okay? Yeah. Tired. I don't cut it, Kaka. I don't cut it, Nana. 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 Got taken over. That's what happens when you're too slow and, and actually nice. <laughs> that was a bit nice. This is the rest of the shop. While I'm waiting. Some stuff, some other things. Pineapple drops. Oh, I can I have a pan of chocolate? Yeah. Uh, I have here, and I have coffee, well, coffee. Uh, flat white? Flat white? Uh, flat white? Flat white, yeah? Yeah. Okay guys, I've ordered. Mango. Mango up here. I heard this music. I mean, this means it's a bit more traditional. I haven't worn these shorts yet with my. Okay, great start there. Please show. From above, we're on like a little mezzanine, um, I think. She's gonna bring it up. To me? I think so. I think that's what I'm looking for. Um, I'll just wait till she comes up because obviously there's no point in just filming me. Uh, well, I can tell you the flat one was 80 rupees. Uh, a pan of chocolate, although she says pan of chocolate. Um, was 70, 70 rupees. So I can tell you that. And now I will put you on pause if you will come back once the things are here. We'll do. Okay, this is like the start. I think, I hope, after this. There we go. There we go. So flat wine, pan of chocolate. I think it was shrunk. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is just like starters. This is just three sugars. It's trying to work out if that's a flat white one. I guess it is. I don't usually drink like cow's milk. It's a coffee, that's for sure. Right. That's good. Pan chocolate. Wow. Oh, she heated it up. Okay. So what I understand, 
it's a pen and chocolate. It's more like, it's that shape. It's bigger. It has like more of croissant outside. Rather than chocolate, this looks like it's got chocolate on the outside. I mean, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with the chocolate at all. Uh, it's a bit hot. I might just wait a second. What was I saying? Yeah, this is just the starter. I think we're going to go down to the... Um, there's like a market that I walked through uh, last night, I think. So yeah, hopefully that's still open. I don't know. Sunday seems to be like a big day off holiday for somebody. But yeah, they seem to actually use Sunday as a, a rest day, which is nice. Okay, here we go. It's good, she microwaved it though. I don't think it needs to be microwaved. It's good. Tastes like one. Yeah. It's just the, yeah, the texture, I, I would say it's a bit too hot. If I had to be picky. Ah, uh, no, but it's good. It's good. Good coffee. There was another, I was going to say, there's another coffee shop, but it is 8.30 at night. You know, you're not supposed to have caffeine after the four. I don't know, something like that. Oh wow. There's like chocolate coming out. There's a lot of chocolate in here. Listen guys, I'm gonna get through this. All the chocolate. Meow, meow, meow. Um, in total, I think this should be like 150. can't complain about. Oh, they do it too. I've just noticed, so I saw something down there, I can't remember. Oh. Yeah, chocolate Danish or something like this, chocolate Danish. Yeah. Um, they had chocolate on it, hard chocolate, right? But I saw a lady um, over there at another table as I was walking up, and it was all kind of glistening like it was melting because they microwave it and then I just saw another kid uh, the donut it's also like the listening from it being melted I guess it's nice but for me I like a bit of crunchy chocolate you know? still good there all right guys uh, yeah something marketplace so it's kind of like I'm having the dessert before the main course but I'm kind of making up we're not having a pan of chocolate for lunch. So I think that's okay. It's more like my des the dessert of my lunch. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. I'm allowed that. Okay, catch you guys later. It's all gone. Apart from the sugar, obviously. It's a uh, go pay. Hang on. I think it's 150. Shall I show you a bit? A bit more, a bit more please. Look at those purple things. And chocolate declares. Maybe I didn't choose the right one, guys. Yeah, there's ah, baguettes as well. French baguettes. Cool, gonna go pay. They also have uh, fresh juices, fruit shakes, uh, geethers, flu, uh, flu, flau, falouda. I guess that means floater, like fizzy with ice cream. We call it, uh, what do we call it? Ice cream soda in New Zealand. Chocolate sundae, mojitos. I imagine by that price it must be alcohol free. Waffles and obviously coffees, which is what I've had. Okay, we're waiting, we're waiting people, we're waiting. No problem. Wow, Red Bull. 
lies. <laughs> West Indies. I think they're just buying the whole shop. Not sure. That's fine. That's fine. They can. Maybe I'll just turn the camera off a little bit, guys. Okay, eventually they bought what they needed to buy. I got to pay for mine. Um, yeah, 150. That's cool. Coffee and a uh, pastry. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, this place, fortunately, they don't have this sign there. Fortunately, they have great things. I've noticed there's kind of quite a lot of great things around. As in, I know that they, they do have a lot of floods, you know, during the rainy season. But it's uh, quite clever that they've actually adapted to them. But yeah, that's what the place is called. Gritha. Githa. Githa. Boulangerie and pastry and Viennesuri. How's my friend? <laughs> cool guys, we're going to go too. Where are we? Oh, could go there. International Institute of Music and Dance. Not today. Not today. Not today. Um, what we're going to do is go to. Hang on. Uh, so we're going to go to the market. To the market. To the market. We've got. Here is a. Uh, another Christian. Wow. Wow. In here. Just, like, you can't go in. Wow, look at it. Strange. It's like kind of like a mix between let's say a Christian church and like a puja or something like this, I think. That's the right word. Yeah, puja. Like a puja. Puja table. Uh, yeah, where they've got like Christian relics just on there, so you can just like pray or bow to them rather than like a whole church. Although the outs outside is quite an um, epic looking thing. <sighs> Here's this building again. Look at that while I look at this. Oh, we've got loads, loads to go, people's. Okay, I'll show you this way. That tooting was about. Mother is coming, coming. I don't know. I don't know. You can definitely see the influence, the French influence, everywhere. I would say, or at least colonial colonialism, because yeah, obviously the British probably had their hand in here somewhere as well. Okay, it's just going to get really dark here, guys. So I'll turn the camera up. I'll get back here in a little bit. But nothing's happening. Okay. Spooky. Ah, I really wanted to take you through the park because you can see there's like this monument through here. Uh, but yeah, it's closed. I think they close at like 8 o'clock-ish or ish when they get dark, I guess. It's now like 10 to, 10 to 9, so... Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, here's like a nice cafe overlooking... Oh, it's the old, I guess, Chamber of the Comets. Um, yeah, now it's a cafe, I believe. Oh, we're going this way. I hope the um, hope the market's still open. Cause that's where we're going. Let's go, let's go, peoples. You can see just here, maybe you can see over here. Yes. Uh, there's like coconuts, and I guess by that smoke, that's probably. Oops. 
probably yes corn <laughs> one of these days I'll get a corn uh, actually maybe I'm going on the I think this is where we're we going uh, it's called like beach food court toys and shops and food but then there's all this stuff if you're after some toys um, there are some stamps here as well. Yeah, toys. Maybe we want toys. We're going here. Beach Food Court. Awesome. Let's go check it out. I have been through here before, but didn't get anything. Uh, but we'll go have a look. Together. It is, but it looks good. Fish. I'm not a big fisher person. No, I'm not big on the fish. There's some. Oh, this is like the deep fried potato spirals. Oh, some of this. Stuff. I still don't actually know the name of a lot of the snacky dishes like this. I think these are like sweets. I don't know. Those are savouries. Oh! Ah, this is cauliflower. This is like deep fried cauliflower. No. Okay. Oh, they all seem like the same thing, I guess. Indeed. Yeah, potatoes and more of the deep fried cauliflower. Okay. I didn't think it was quite as repetitive as it was before. Maybe I'll go find a place that actually has a seat and sit down and then work it out. See here, gosh, see how deep frying that is. Hello. I want a place with like good seating and not too many people. Not too much noise. Gosh, there's a um, tattoo tattooist back there. You know, I was on Chennai. Uh, I was on Chennai Beach. Someone was doing a tattoo in the dark, but by the light of an eye or, or of a phone torch. Crazy, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? Pasta? I guess that's the... No, it's not French though, is it? I wonder why it's quieter down this side. A lot of people here. I'll go in the quiet one. Over here. It's dark. Maybe that's why it's dark. A bit too dark. Come back here, some little things. Okay. Stand uh, up. Oh, french fries. <laughs> this rule French fries. Oh. <laughs> that was, um, Chili fish. Hello. Uh, can I have the uh, daiquiri? I have. Um, what do you have? This one. Uh, maybe pani pani puri. Yeah. And this, what's that? Uh, yeah, can I have this one? I'll have that one. 
Not sure. Not sure what I ordered. But it'll come. And you can tell me. Cool guys. Well, I'll just wait for something to happen. I think I ordered. We shall see. Ah, uh, Gobi. Gobi is cauliflower, I think. Okay, I ordered something. Uh, maybe that's what she said. Maybe she said Gobi. It's a Gobi Manchurian. I don't know why it's Manchurian. The thing that I tried to get, they didn't have. Uh, so we'll see. When it turns up. Like always, it's time for Blair's observation time. Um, just uh, noticed someone just next to me. They're now looking at me. But, um, like feed, feeding each other. It's a, it's a strange, strange thing. Strange thing. But yesterday, so they, they're, they're feeding each other off, off, off the spoon. Yesterday I, I saw, uh, I imagine a couple, and the woman was feeding the man from her hand. So obviously, you know, they eat with their hand. But she was picking it up and putting it in his mouth. Now I'm not sure about that one. It seemed very, like it was very, obviously a very intimate thing to happen. But it, yeah, I'm still working that one out in my head. I mean, he seemed to enjoy it, and she seemed to enjoy doing it. So they're both consenting adults. I guess that's fine. <laughs> I don't know. So guys, I, I, I think she knows I ordered something. I mean, we spoke for a bit of time. And she was nodding and saying words. Maybe he's cooking it. We shall see. She's either forgotten or didn't realize I ordered something. So I'll go try again. Let's go try again. Yeah, I think I'll... I think I'll try that. Not sure what it is. That one's definitely cauliflower, but this one I don't need. Can I have this one? Huh? Oh yeah? One plate. Uh, one plate? Yeah. yeah, no problem. One plate? Yeah, one plate. Hey, is it big or small? Okay, got it in the end. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. You didn't know I did a 10 kilometer run this morning for charity here in front of you. You haven't seen that? I'll, uh, I'll link it above somewhere. Ah. Okay, now I think I'm actually waiting for something to happen. Before I wasn't. Okay, it was pretty quick. Once I ordered. <laughs> this is what we got. Um, I think it's. A mushroom fry, mushroom fry, and like it's got like, like it's got like cornflakes on top of it. So this, they don't have tables here, no table, just chairs. So we'll do this. It is warm though. Let's try. Wow. Some kick to it. Most peppery kick. Very like tomatoey. There's mushrooms in there somewhere, around me. Very good. And that's the name. That's the place. Right in the center of the market. It's got the most cheers, that's what I say. So yeah, you've got this kind of good mix of like a crunchy, they're almost like cornflakes, but they're a bit, a bit chewier. Um, a bit of like 
salad garnish, onion, carrot, coriander, and then there's all sorts, all sorts on this stuff. Mushroom, definitely tomato, I'd say pepper, onion, very good. Right, I'll get through this uh, and get back to you. Forty rupees, guys. Forty cents. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, maybe that machine there is too loud for you. I don't know. You can see here. So that's what it kind of looks like. So you kind of, they kind of deep fry it first, and then it's really kind of pre-cooked. Which they then, uh, <laughs> which they then. Um, uh, like throw in with like kind of a some sort of tomato y curry stuff. Oh, uh, how much do you have? Oh, uh, yeah, for, for five. Four, five, five. Yeah. Right. Okay, thank you. All right, so I got something. I don't know what it is. I think it's sweet. I think it's sweet. Um, yeah, I think it's sweet. We're just going to come out here and see some more guys. I've kind of all got the same sort of thing. Whether it's sweet corn. Ooh, these are cold. I was expecting them to be warm. I think they're sweet. Uh, I might just stand here and eat one. That's what we're doing with people. This. So they're kind of like a like a cake ball, I guess. Like a chocolate cake ball. But it's almost I mean it's not very sweet actually, it's not very sweet at all. I mean comparative to a lot of Indian stuff. Um but yeah, for, you gave me five of these for 30 rupee wow and they almost taste healthy almost okay guys we're gonna do a little walk down the old water while i eat this okay so we got a hmm, good scarf on now feels like it might it might rain it's quite windy as well it kind of got really humid all of a sudden. Another one? All right. Why not? I don't know what, what they made of. Maybe it's like rice. But like chopped up. Yeah, like squashed um, or like blended rice with maybe chocolate. I mean, they are brown. I mean, they do have little bits of like coconut and things in them. Hmm. I don't really know. good. It might make a good breakfast. I've got three of them left. As you can see, loads of loads of people down here, and it is like 9:30. Wow, so many people just hanging out, walking up and down. It's not necessarily about the ocean as, as such. I guess it's more about the esplanade. Because it's all cornered up and you can't... You know, we can drive down here, right? This is where my running race was this morning. I was down here at 6 a.m. Raring to go. Uh, 
Yeah, feet are a bit sore. I have had a Ayurvedic massage. Um, yeah, that was an experience. Uh, not sure. Not sure if I'd recommend it. Comparative to let's say a Thai or a Balinese massage. I mean, it's more. It feels like it's more about pushing, almost pushing energy around. Um, but also, you get covered in oil, like, like oil everywhere, and you've got like a <laughs> basically like almost like a a paper. You have to get naked to start with, and then they you, you get like a little paper underwear, uh, kind of like a sumo wrestler, you know, like all wrapped up and up up your bum and everything, uh, and then you get covered in oil by a man hands <laughs> yeah but the, 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 well, I mean that's not the weird bit the, the weird bit is that in you kind of use the towel to wipe some of it off but then you're still I had to like walk home covered in oils maybe you're supposed to like leave it on but like I had to walk all the way back to my guest house and it was just by the time I got there I was kind of like a bit traumatized I don't like having things on my skin too much. Particularly not oil, like it makes me like it's just a bit slimy. A bit slimy. But it was good, but yeah, it definitely felt more like like as opposed to they say Thai or Balinese. Where they really get into some of the muscles and like get far in. They're quite strong. Although I always ask for a strong massage. Um, whereas this one it was more like circular motions, so it seemed a bit more like um, moving energies around. Maybe I could imagine. So yeah, it felt more like you know, like for example, he goes into your armpit, and he definitely goes, yeah, definitely goes into your armpit, your lymph nodes, or your uh, like glands. You know, try. I guess more about moving that stuff around than the muscles. This is just my observation and a very narrow spectrum of knowledge I have on Ayurvedic. Uh, yeah, the massage itself, and, and you're on, so, and I think it must be like a post, post world situation thing. Um, Cause your, 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 your little G-string is paper. It's not quite paper, but it's, it's like a disposable material. Uh, and then you're lying on like a sheet of it as well. So this is obviously, you know, to help uh, stop cross infection. I don't know, some, you know, health, for health reasons. Health uh, reasons. Yeah, so they can then throw it away. But then underneath, the disposable tissue bed sheet is a wooden bed. It's wooden. You're lying on like a very hard, dark wooden thing. Covered in slimy oil with a paper G string on. I mean, one, one interesting bit, which I don't, <laughs> I'm to say, which I don't think he did enough. But, you know, maybe he just does it. I don't know. Anyway, when he first picked up all the oil, like you see, like using, you know, tipping out all oil, you know, cups of oil, like to mix it up or whatever. Um, but then he actually puts it in his hand, in two hands, and kind of like, uh, you know, prays to it or something, I guess, you know, to activate it. I don't know. Whatever we're supposed to do. Uh, you could smell like, I don't know what sort of oil it was, but it kind of had a smell almost of, it's going to sound strange, of like oregano or maybe it was basil. Basil does make sense, I think. I think basil makes sense. But then the hot, like that wasn't too bad, you know, you, yeah, covered in stuff. But then it was the walking back, the walking back just, like I, yeah. I just had to do this and like just yeah even I got into my guest house 
and like you know kind of just didn't want to talk to anybody and press the press the elevator button trying not to get oil on everything I think I'm going down here maybe I'll go to the next one yeah try not to get oil on anything and trying not to touch and then all these people got in the lift with me and I was like don't touch the don't touch the don't touch me because uh, yes yeah, so I was covered in slime basically not slime oil so yeah an experience I'm not sure if you're supposed to kind of just leave the oil like soak in a bit because I know a lot of Ayurvedic is, is, is to do with like oils and things and I don't know but yeah yeah uh, yeah Ooh. just makes me like twitch even now I, I, I didn't feel uh, equal amounts benefit to creeped out or grossed out this to it which is fine yeah you know, different things I mean there were different pipes maybe I just chose the wrong one. Oh well so that's my Ayurvedic massage story. Now it's your turn. What's, what's your strange massage stories? Maybe, maybe don't, maybe, maybe don't tell me. <laughs> um, okay, well I'm just going to walk back home guys. Maybe, uh, maybe one day I'll do another Ayurvedic. It was 1500 as well. It's like 15, 15 pounds. So yeah, I think maybe the, the paywall, <laughs> the paywall to get in uh, was already too high, but it might just because it's Pondicherry. Very touristic. Um, okay, we're gonna walk down here. Still haven't had a coffee. Coffee. I can just see this place here called Coffee House. Go ahead and have one. Can go. Oh, oh. One thing I've noticed, although I can hear one in the background, just as I'm saying that, one thing I've noticed is that the dogs are actually quite, uh, quite chill, which is nice. Not like Malaysian dogs, the way they actually run after you. Lots of barking. Yeah, see, so Coffee House. The Coffee House. Uh, is that enough? That's enough rambling, isn't it? Cool, nice one. Cheers, guys. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Here's Shiva. Um, Navadi Shiva? No. Um, Namano. No, can't remember, guys. Sorry. Uh, Jay Bolaki? Yes, maybe that. And Jay Hin. Nice one. See you guys. Subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Until then, keep on drifting.